So just how good is the M1 MacBook Air's battery in real world testing? We're gonna find out. So welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, definitely check out my backlog of like 320 videos just like this. So anyways, what I wanted to do today is I have an M1 MacBook Air here, and I read a bunch of articles, and you probably read them too. In the articles, it states that this can get like 16 to 18 hours of battery life and everything else. I mean, everything's so great about this thing. You can hear, you know, obviously there's article after article about the battery life, battery life. So what I wanted to do is just, I wanna show people a breakdown of what is my actual usage of this and then what am I getting for battery life? So it's gonna be a pretty simple video. Um, I basically ran through two full cycles and I'm gonna explain how I use the system here and then what my real world use was for the battery on this. And let me tell you, it's not exactly what they're publishing. And uh, you know, I'm not saying you can't get there because I know there's tests where people have gotten there before, but I'm gonna tell you exactly how I've used it and what I'm actually seeing on the battery. And I'm gonna show you proof because I have the screenshots of my battery monitoring telling you exactly how much I've gotten out of it. So at the end of the day, we're gonna find out exactly what the real world use of this thing is on battery. And, and you know, can you really believe those numbers? Obviously it depends on what you do. Number one, it depends on the brightness of the screen. Number two, things like that. But I'm gonna show you all that stuff. So stay tuned, let's get into the video. It's gonna be a simple one, but I wanna to prove to people, you know, if they're thinking about buying this, what can they really expect out of the battery? All right, and just to show everyone where my brightness was, it was around that 55 to 60%. I know this is gonna vary. Some people love it dim, some people love it super bright. Being the MacBook M1 Air, it's only 400 nits, not 500, so you need it about here for at least me in the house where I can see it good. It's still not that bright. I usually like it a little bit brighter, but this is kind of where I was comfortable. So just for the testing purposes, I wanted to lay out exactly where this was so people can see it, and you know, just so that information's out there. And then one more thing too, it's a brand new MacBook Air, and I wanted to show you that the capacity is 100% on the battery, that's important. And I also went through a couple of the first cycle because the first cycle usually downloads a bunch of stuff and that usually can use some battery. So just to show you where I am, you know, it's a new one and it's, it should be fully through that threshold, so we should be good there, it should be accurate. All right, so let's get into this. Now, the very first thing I wanted to point out is this is not, I'm not going for world records here. I know people can get more. They're going to post it in the comments, but I'm just showing you real world usage and how I use this so and let the chips fall where they may. So here it is. So I'm going to show you a couple examples, so stay tuned with me. So this is what comes with Apple, the M1s, and it shows you obviously with um, you know the newest Mac OS, but it shows you your battery usage. And so I'm going to bring this screen up here. Now, Obviously on Friday I started and I went all the way to, I guess that's Saturday, Sunday, so you can see here. So let's start down here. I added up all of my screen usage time down here, and you can see the days that I used it. There was only one day that I didn't use it. And when I added all this up, I got about 8.65 hours of use, 8.65 hours. Now hold on, there's still about 10 uh, you know, percent left. So that's gonna put me up in about the 9.5 hour range somewhere if I went all the way to zero. So on this one example, I'm about 9.5 hours. And the question is, is you know, you can see that, I'm gonna get into this in the next example a little bit better, but you can see even if you don't use this, you do get a battery drain. So that's gonna be a key factor. If you use everything like in one or two days, you're gonna get a little bit more screen usage because you're not gonna get this drain here. Um, and you can see, depending on the tasks you, you do, like in this task, these almost look similar up here for the energy used, but over here, they're actually, you know, this one was quite a bit more, so it depends on what you're actually doing and how it's gonna drain the battery. With all that said, though, I did, and I kept track of this, so I did somewhere roughly, let me think about this, about three hours of web browsing, about two hours of using pages, and then I did about one hour of video editing with just a short render, maybe about 10 minutes or so, and, uh, and finally I did, uh, the last thing I did was uh, three hours of YouTube watching or 3.5 hours, somewhere in that range, I think about 3.5. So this is what I got. That's what I used it for. And you can see here, you know, usage history. So about 9.5 hours. So let's go on to the second example. All right, so here's the next example I wanted to show you. And I went from a Tuesday to a Tuesday, you can see it here. And the reason I wanted to show you this is now, again, let's go back to the statistics. So I added up the usage here. Again, I have 35% left over here, but I added up everything that I used over that week, and I used about 5.85 hours, and I have about 35% left. So when I calculate that out, you know, based off of math and everything, it's gonna come around nine hours. I get about nine hours on this full charge. You know, that's what it's aiming for. Again, I still have 35% left. I just wanted to show people you know, projected about nine hours. And the reason, you know, I wanted to show you this one is because you can see here, it's quite, quite interesting. 
Obviously, you know, here I used about an hour of usage here and, you know, only used a little bit of energy. But if you look at the next, I, there's a bunch of days in here where I didn't use this at all. I, I never turned it on. I actually put my system to sleep and then just shut the lid on it. And you can see it's still using, what is that, like maybe 5%. This day it actually used like almost, you know, maybe, I don't know if it's 5%, maybe, you know, a little bit more than that. Maybe this is 2%, this is 4%. So, it, you know, even though I didn't use it each of these days, this one actually drained a little bit more battery. And then I didn't use it this day and it drained a little bit less. So it's a little bit crazy. You can see that even if you use it a little bit here, you know, you're basically going to have like here is the same drain with using it, not even using it. And I got the same drain here when I used it the same, you know, a little bit at least. So the moral of the story is if you do do if you don't use it like this, you're going to get substantially less. But with my last example, it's not quite, it's not a ton more. I'm guessing it's going to be in that 9.5 to 10 hour range somewhere in there. So that's kind of my guess. Um, you know, is where, where this is all going to hash out again, about nine to 10 hours, let's just say, for normal use in here. And you can see, again, all the statistics are in here. It's just interesting, like, you know, you know, if you don't use it, it's training, and it, it really depends on what you're doing. And this example here, I did a lot of YouTube, about 40% YouTube, and about 20-30% um, web browsing, and then the rest was like pages uh, and stuff like that, tasks like that, and I roughly had some, you know, roughly three to four applications open. And I just wanted to throw one more thing in here. So if you're basically using this, you know, obviously I've heard and I've, I've done some research on this. If you're going to be gaming on this thing, which a lot of people don't, or you're doing hardcore video editing, you can really only expect like four to five hours somewhere in there if you're doing a long renders, like tons of long renders and using it for video editing only. But if you're watching just straight YouTube and you have this, you know, the brightness really low and all that stuff matters, really, really low. I mean, lower than I had. You can see what I had. So this is just my test. But at the end of the day, if that's what it is, then you know you can probably get that 15, 16 hours like they're saying, but you really have to try. So that's kind of all I wanted to kind of show you is the real world usage. And you know the, the range is really a lot if you actually uh, look into it and it depends exactly what you're doing. So is that what you thought? So the real world answer to this question is gonna be, it can be anywhere from like four or five hours depending on what you're doing, all the way up to probably 16 hours, somewhere in that range. The real world use though is going to be in that eight to 11 hour range, I would guess, depending on exactly what you're doing. So my, you know, from my experience, it's been in that eight, nine, 10 hour range. So I, you know, I just wanted to show people that you're not going to always get 17 hours of battery on this system. Um, in fact, I had a hard time even doing it and I wasn't doing anything stressful with it. I mean, just a little bit of video editing, if even that on one of the times, the other time I was solely just web browsing and some YouTube watching and stuff like that. I suspect they tested it. If you just put the YouTube video on and you let it go, I mean, you might be able to get more hours, you know, a little bit more time with it. But when you're doing browsing, opening up applications, just having things open in the background, it eats up a little bit more battery. So again, when you're buying this, you know, you see 17 hours, you know all laptop manufacturers kind of pad the statistics. They make it a perfect environment, the perfect temperature, perfect brightness, everything else in between. And uh, with mine, you know, I, you know, just, I did some other tests beyond this just to confirm what I actually showed you. And it's really, I, I, I don't think you're gonna get much more than what I'm showing you in this video. So just wanted to let people know, you know, when you buy something, it's don't always, you know, trust what they're saying. Now granted, it's, it's better than almost any laptop out there, so that's a positive to this. And I'm not beating this system up because this is just a great system. Works great, battery's great, everything about it's great. But they should really kind of like, you know, give some disclaimers on the battery life and stuff like that because it's never what it seems and it's never what they say. So anyways, if you guys can support my channel, hopefully you can. Uh, just go ahead and click the like button and subscribe. That's even more important. And uh, wait for the next one. I do maybe three to four a week. And uh, I try to pick topics like this that are a little bit different than most people. So subscribe and it's going to help me grow. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.